votes altogether. We're also watching another race very closely up there in Atlanta, Georgia's U.S. Senate race. Right now, there are 74% of the votes in and counted. And boy, this race is too tight to call for anyone. Herschel Walker uh, leading with 1.727 million votes. And Raphael Warnock followed very close behind with 1.7 million votes. Neck and neck, and the Libertarian candidate Chase Oliver has 70,000 votes with 2%. Our team coverage out of Atlanta continues with the latest from that race we just talked about. We do want to start with our Dow Kennedy, who is live inside Senator Raphael Warnock's watch party. And Dow, a lot at stake tonight. Mike, you're exactly right. You know, the music and the party continues, but all eyes are on the scoreboard watching those numbers. As, as we said, Senator Warnock and Herschel Walker remain neck and neck in a dead heat, neither having a majority vote. And with a third party candidate, leaves the door open for a runoff between these two later on in the weeks to come. The message tonight has been no runoff. They want to take this outright finish this race off tonight and not worry about campaigning into November and December. And that is what they are hoping for. Different speakers have been here throughout the evening talking to them about that. Take a look at a little bit of video. As you can see, some of the supporters that have been here throughout the evening uh, remaining hopeful that they can not only win this, but win it outright. One of the speakers that came up a little while ago, uh, Senator Warnock's partner in the Senate here from Georgia, Senator John Ossoff, who had this message. Are y'all ready to win, Georgia? Are y'all ready to send Raphael Warnock back to the United States Senate? As we said, with many counties and many precincts still to be counted, this race certainly too close to call. It will be decided later on through the evening and will determine whether either side wins it outright or we're back in a runoff. And of course, we will be, we will be here to bring you all the latest information throughout the evening. Live in Atlanta, Dale Kennedy, WTOC News. Alyssa jo joins us from across town at Herschel Walker's campaign. Alyssa, what are you hearing? Hey, thanks, Val. I mean, it has been neck and neck. This race, as you guys mentioned earlier, is too close to call. Turnout has been historic. Herschel Walker just took the podium about half an hour ago for the first time during the night because he pulled ahead by a narrow lead. But like I said, it's too close to call. But he said, quote, I did not come to lose. A lot of eyes are on Georgia now as the majority in the chamber hangs in the balance. And a lot of people are saying that it's Georgia, this race that could determine it. Now, a lot of Herschel Walker supporters have said, despite any of the allegations against him, they're sticking by his side. If there's anybody in the room that didn't do something 10, 15, 20 years ago that they might have regret or they would have given a second thought, raise your hand. But we're talking about now and in the future. Warnock, he's got a presence and he's got a future that's clear what he intends on doing. Walker, he's got a presence right now that's very good. Man, people love what they hear from Herschel Walker. This race against against uh, Senator Raphael Warnock and challenger Herschel Walker, like I said, is tight. It's too close to call. Thousands, maybe yeah, hundreds of thousands of people are watching Herschel this race time, very right? closely. We are watching it. It is too to close to call with the election results that we have in right now, but we will continue to follow those results on the news at daybreak. For right now, live at Herschel Walker's campaign headquarters, Alyssa Jackson, WTOC News. Well, as we just saw from the Georgia U.S. Senate race, we also want to go across the river into South Carolina and talk about.